Hey guys, today we are going to talk about Rudy and MetaZoo and how it can go terribly wrong when an investment opportunity that you are selling to your subscribers no longer becomes viable. Uh, MetaZoo, even the hardcore MetaZoo people are calling it out. Uh, in fact, the individual who illustrates all of Rudy Chan's cards, and what one thing I want you guys to look at is the number of sales. So Rudy Chan will say, hey, this is a $110 card. Maybe, but there's not that much demand for it. And when there's not much that much demand for it, I mean, you can see the last sale. There was only one sale in the whole month of October for $110. You can't really base, um, when he was making that native video about native doing really well and who could have told it's $100 a box now. Um yeah, uh, the volume, I think the Timmies are waking up. And it, it really comes down to the Timmies understanding that they've been ripped off. So the Timmies don't know that. When they're buying and things are good and people are... And he's still telling them the Diamond Hands, by the way. I think he has a Diamond Hands Club or something. Um, when the things are going good and the Timmies are happy and they're getting unrealized profits, um, yeah, they, they're everything is good. When they go to sell and they realize, hey, none of these cards have sold in the month of October. And none of them have sold in the month of November. So when they get their Timmy mystery boxes, their 6-9 mystery boxes, um, they make a devastating realization that these cards are not worth 150 whatever they are worth if no one buys it or if it takes forever to sell one. I need my I Timmy need money now for my mom. I Timmy need money now for my girlfriend. My I Timmy need now for my plane ticket. You can see this sale um there's never been a sale. <laughs> so, I mean, some of this is so crazy and this is these are the top cards in the game. We're not talking about like, we are talking about the top cards in the game are not selling. So what chance do you have, what chance does any Timmy have to sell when the person he's selling against is Rudy Chan himself? Again, uh, this is something that I really, really want you guys to understand is when you deal with cards, liquidity is absolutely an issue. It is. Um, in, in terms of why it's an issue, obviously when people want to go sell a card, they don't want to wait a month or two months to sell it. They want an instant sale. And many of these Timmies are not willing to drop the price on these cards because maybe they don't have to. But when you have to, it's like that the Timmy who had to sell, he was a big Patreon, probably at the $100 level for Alpha Investment. He bought cases and cases of New Campena, Crimson Vow, Midnight Hunt under Rudy's advice, of course, right? And Rudy, would, I mean, why would Rudy... Like, just look at the channel name. It's called Alpha Investments, and the guys with the channel is selling you these cases as investments, and the guy couldn't hold on. He couldn't hold on. I don't know why he's so deluded and in a cult-like state. I don't want to offend him or definitely give, um, you know, obviously he's in a tough situation, but you hate to see it, man. You hate to see it, and the Timmy is still supporting the Rudy because um, as soon as the Timmy gets any more money, he's going to give the money to Rudy, and then the Rudy will just uh, beat up the Timmy again. Uh, and that is the cycle of Rudy Chan life, right? But some Timmies are realizing, and you can see in the comments, you can see in the um, thing. In fact, uh, another video series I'm going to be making, I have found the perfect Timmy example. Be the Meta, Meta Zoo is not going well. Um... It is not going well, and I think a lot of people are upset, and they are realizing that when it's time to, um, when there are time to, when it's time to sell, no one wants to sell them. No one wants to sell them. 
Um, and that's crazy in my opinion. That is crazy in my opinion. Uh, the, the level of sales of some of these cards. Like actually, the worst card of the lot is the Rudy Nice Metal, which came in the Rudy 6.9 Timmy box. You would think for a very expensive exclusive product, that metal would be what, $100, $50? It's like sub $10 right now with free shipping. I noticed that that metal is never bought up again, right? And this is for a premier product. This is Alpha Investments' premier flagship product, right? The 6.9 Mystery Box. It's crazy, in my opinion. Uh, and again, it will come down to the fact the Timmies are getting angry. They're waking up. And, um, yeah. There, there's not much else I need to say. The financial destruction that he has done to the Timmies have been on a massive scale, right? Uh, and, and people are finding out. I mean, you read the Meta Zoo comment. Magic, not yet. Uh, although that video where he buys the Timmy's products again for 10 cents. Every, everyone knows he got ripped off, right? Uh, everyone and their grandmother knows. Minus the guy who got ripped off, right? Um, when you need money the most, Rudy will rip you off the hardest. Because that's desperation. That's a true shark. Right? When you are desperate to cash out your collection. And there's only one dude willing to buy your 10 cases of new Campena that Amazon will drop down, you know, they will do a dump on every single month of their big sales. You might view him as a savior, but he's the mother effer who put you in the position, you idiot. It's like he dug, it's like he dug a hole for you, pushed you in the hole, and then he gave you his hand, and then he kind of lifted you up a little bit, and then threw you back in the hole, and then you're really thankful that he at least lifted you a little bit. But after he's the one who dug the hole. 